What up, YouTube? This is Steven, and I'm back with some news regarding Miss Utada Hikaru. So this one is for you Utada Tots out there. And I have two pieces of news. Both come from AramaJapan.com, so shout out to them. Thanks a lot. And the first piece of news is pretty short and straight to the point, so I'll start with that one first. As well, it also leads into the next piece. So... The title of the article is New Utana Hikaru Song to be Used as Theme Song for Quote Unquote News Zero News Program Music. So basically, um, that's the title, and she's going to submit a song for this like new news program, you know, News Zero, which is a bit strange, it's a bit of a strange name for a, a news program. It's like zero news you know like news zero but anywho <clears throat> alright so let me read this article and get my thoughts and opinions alright a new Tani Karu song will be used as a theme song for the NTV N, N as in the letter N NTV news program quote unquote news zero so this was mentioned a while back that Utano is going to be submitting a song for a news program. And I think some people are just like, eh. And for me, I didn't quite understand it because I didn't think that news programs really used like theme songs from like contemporary musical artists. But I guess, you know, this, you know, is what they do in Japan, or at least this is what this program does. Whatever. More power to them. Next, the new song will begin airing as the program's theme song, theme song on April 4th. Details about the song have not been released. Okay, so this song is going to start, you're going to start hearing the song around April 4th. And as well, um, Utana has submitted a song for a, a television show as well. It's more like a drama, I think versus this television show, which is like a news program. So there's going to be two new songs from Utada coming, you know, coming around, around April. You know, they're going to be released around the beginning of April. <clears throat> so, okay, so it's like two songs to watch out for. So I'm guessing, like, you know, is Utada going to release a single as well to help promote these new songs? Is she going to do any type of promotional performances for these songs? I think that she should, you know, um, I think that would help, well, I don't, well, she doesn't probably really need the money per se, but it would help kind of like usher in her comeback and it would give her fans something to, you know, go crazy for, you know, something more to go crazy for, because usually the fans just go crazy for Utada, but since she hasn't released a lot of music in a while, they're going crazy for Utada and going, you know, mad for her music and they're wanting it more and more and more. <clears throat> so I think that Utada should do some promo for these songs. <clears throat> Alright. So next, this is the second new Utada song set to begin airing on April 4th. On that day, another song will be used as the theme song to the NHK drama Toto Ni Chan. So as I mentioned before, um I didn't know they were going to come out both on the same day, though. But, yeah, it seems like, you know, the Utana Tots are growing. Like, April 4th is the day for the Utana Tots. I'm telling you. Like, Utana Tots, mark that on your calendar, April 4th. Like, once that happens, you know, start, you know, scanning the um, internet for um, the songs. And also, um, I think that as far as the international Utana Hikaru fans are concerned, um, I think Japan is pretty much like the way that, you know, the um, time zones are set up. Like Japan is so ahead of everyone else. So you might get the song a little earlier than April 4th, possibly, <clears throat> depending on what time zone you're, you're in, you know. All right. Next. Utana is currently preparing to make a long way to come back after five years on hiatus. A new album is in the works. So that's pretty much the end of this article, and 
you know, like I said, it's pretty short and straight to, straight to the point. Utana's releasing a new song, and she's going to come back with a new album. Um, but I wonder when is the album going to be released, though? Because she has two new songs coming out pretty much the same day. So I'm thinking, is the, is the new album going to re be released during, you know, the beginning of summer, during the middle of summer, during the end of summer? Is it going to be released in fall, around Christmas time? Is it going to be released this year? I assume it's this year. I don't think she's going to be, like, holding back, you know, going off to, like, 2017 for this new album. Um, I think the Utada Times will have, you know, some words to say on Utada's Twitter account if she does that. <clears throat> um, but, yeah. So that's the end of this article. I'm going to um, read the next news article for you guys and give my thoughts and opinions as I go. The next news article, also from AramaJapan.com, is titled, Utada Hikaru announces her official return to the music industry. So that pretty much just says it straight up. Like, if you didn't know by now, now you know. Utada is officially coming back to the music industry. <clears throat> Alright. After much speculation and numerous reports on the subject, famous pop singer Utada Hikaru has finally provided official confirmation that she will be ending her hiatus from the music industry on April 4th. Alright, so, again, with the rumors, remember the rumors that came, that came out around maybe, say, December 2015 or January 2016, around that time. Yeah, the rumors, and people were like, nah, and then some people were like, yeah, but then, um, Utada, like Utada's people and her dad were like, nah, you know, <clears throat> but Utada has officially announced this, apparently. Um, so I don't think Utada is like a liar, you know, I don't think she would just lie to her fans and say I'm coming back and then not come back. You know, what kind of low life would do that? <clears throat> Um, next, on this day, two of her new songs will air live on Japanese television. Her theme song for the Asadora, I don't even know what that means, quote unquote, To To Nichan, which has now been revealed to be titled Hanataba wo Kimi ni. And the new ending theme song for news program New Zero, the title of which will be unveiled at a later date. All right, so Utada, we know the title of one song, which is Hanataba wo Komini. And Hanataba, I think, means like um, bouquet. So I'm guessing this song is going to be about a bouquet of something. She did get married recently, so maybe it's like a bouquet of flowers, um, a bouquet of feelings. I'm seeing like kimi, ni. I don't know. Um, I'm not really well versed in Japanese. Um, never took a Japanese class. I would like to, but you know, I just haven't been presented with the opportunity that can coincide with whatever else I'm doing. But, um,. Yeah, so we know the title of one song, but we don't know the title of the next song. <clears throat> um, as well, we don't know the styles of these songs either. Are these songs going to be like mid-tempo ballads, slow-tempo ballads? Are they going to be fast-paced dance songs? You know, we don't know. We really don't know. <clears throat> All right. Next, in celebration of Utada's return to the scene, her team has launched what is called the quote-unquote New Turn Project, a web page which will help both fans and industry professionals welcome her back. All right, so she has like official, an official page now to kind of like usher in her comeback. So, like, you know, this is real, you guys. Utana Tosh, this is real. Like, you guys can finally get off the edge, you know, just back away slowly and get off the edge and then just go back to your regular lives, listening to new Utana Hikaru music. So she has come back, you guys. Um, your queen is coming back. 
Let's see next. Every day, well, sorry, every time any Utana related products are purchased through the website or anyone tweets a, tweets the hashtag, um, quote unquote hashtag, and there's some Japanese um, writing that I don't have a clue of how to pronounce. So it's like hashtag Japanese writing hickey. And um, I don't know a super lot about Utani Karu, but I'm pretty sure like Hiki is like the nickname that her fans call her, I think. <clears throat> um, so yeah, um, I think that's kind of like a play on Hikaru. So uh, instead of Hikaru, it's Hiki. But for me, it's a bit strange just because I'm used to calling Utara Hikaru. Utara as a first name, even though that's technically her last name. Um, but for me, I don't know, I just feel like it kind of works better. And I've tried doing the first name Hikaru first, like Hikaru Utara. But I guess I'm just so used to her last name. And plus, she was introduced to the international music market as Utara only. It wasn't like Hikaru Utara or U even Utara Hikaru, it was just Utara, you know? But apparently she just wants to retire the name and now go as, I guess, Hikaru Utada. I don't know. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. More cherry blossoms will bloom on the site's webpage. So anytime anyone tweets the hashtag, la la la, la Japanese lyrics, hickey, um, cherry blossoms will bloom on the site's main page. So I'm guessing, so basically, like, Anytime anyone talking about Utada with a specific hashtag, she's going to, like, you know, put it on her webpage, I guess. Okay, all right. Let's see. A portion of the proceeds earned through this project will be donated to nonprofit organizations which will plant cherry trees in affected or in areas affected by the Great East Japan earthquake. All right, so this is kind of like a you know, a charity project, you know? So, Utada is being very philanthropic here, you know? She's being very generous, very selfless, very philanthropic, you know? And as well, you know, being very Japanese as well, because her, like, her project is going to benefit like Japanese people who are victims of the Great East Jap Japan earthquake, you know. <clears throat> so as, you know as well, she's helping her peoples out too. So that's good. That's good that Utada wants to give back, you know, instead of just take, take, take. Um, let's see. Next, Arama Japan warmly welcomes Utada Hikaru back to the the Japanese music industry and encourages all those who would like to do the same to visit the quote-unquote new term project webpage all right and that's pretty much the end of the article you guys so you know Utada has an official webpage set up to kind of like usher in her comeback and as well to do charity work so that is um, a little bit different because usually when people come back they don't really do charity work you know when people come back to the music industry they don't really do charity work um, either they don't care about charity work or them themselves are the charity case. You know what I'm saying? Like, they either coming back because they try to make, you know, make a comeback after, you know, such a disastrous fall or either just coming back because they've been gone for a while. In Utana's case, she's been gone for a while, so she ain't the charity case. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, Utana wants to take it a step further and help other people who may need some help. So again, um, shout out to Utada Hikaru for being very, you know, charitable and philanthropic. All right. Um, at this point now, since Utada has, like, Utada was really nice in doing this, not just because of the charity aspect of it, but also for her competition. She's letting these um, people know, especially the female solo artists know that, hey, look, let me be nice about this, you guys. Let me tell you when I'm coming back so that you can move out of my way. And 
if they're smart, you know, especially these female solo artists here, if they're smart, they will not try to compete with Utada Hikaru, especially during the month of April, because that's definitely going to be Utada's month, as well as she's probably going to have a season at least. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, Utana is also being very charitable in that way and letting her competition know that she's coming back and when exactly she's coming back so that they can, you know, get their affairs in order and move them either far away from her, like later on afterwards or before. And, you know, I really don't see any female solo artists being able to compete with Utana Hikaru during this specific, like, specific time here, you know? You know? While there are popular female solo artists at the moment, you know, like, you know, I think kind of Nishino, she's kind of like the it chick right now. Um, but I don't see her being able to compete with Utada Hikaru. Um, and as well, the other queens of J-pop, like, you know, Namie Amuro and Ayumi, like for me, like Ayumi, I don't see, I definitely don't see Ayumi being able to compete with Utada Hikaru. Um, I think that, you know, Ayumi at this specific point is like, she's a part of the conversation, but it's mainly because of her past works, not because of her present works. <clears throat> you know, her legacy helps her become, be a part of the conversation. <clears throat> and as far as Namie, Amuro is concerned, uh, while I definitely stand for Namie Amuro, and I'm a part of the, you know, Namie Armada, I think that's what I'm going to call her fan base, um, the Armada. <clears throat> um, she would be the best contender to compete with Utada Hikaru, but I don't think that's going to happen because, you know, Namie and her people are very smart. They're not going to just put Nami out there to compete with Utada Hikaru, knowing that Utada Hikaru is going to win and win very big. <clears throat> and as well, you know, in Utada Hikaru's absence, Nami has been like, you know, the overall top female solo artist. Um, but the thing is like, Nami is at a point now where specifically at this point now where she kind of just she's still on tour and stuff so she ain't really got a reason to come back you know so it's not like she was going to be releasing any music anyway um so it would be really strange for her to re release new music at this point anyway especially with Utari Carter coming back so it's just like it even works out even better for Namie you know it's like okay I was going to be releasing music during April 4th anyway you know <laughs> So, yeah, I think this year is probably going to be Utada Hikaru's year, you know. Um, as well as the month of April is going to be definitely Utada Hikaru's month. And I think if, you know, the other female solo artists are smart, they'll just stand on the sidelines and watch Utada Hikaru's um, comeback from the sidelines. You know, don't try to compete with Utari Hikaru because you're going to lose, you know. It's, it's not your time right now. It's Utari Hikaru's time. So, you know, you know, step aside, you know, gracefully, you know. At least, you you know, when you do it, it's, when you do it yourself, it kind of comes off as a bit graceful. It's like, okay, you know, I'm just letting someone have their moment. But when you get pushed aside, when you're trying to compete with Utana, then you're going to look like a fool. You know, you're going to look like, you know, you just lost, you know, the race or whatever you want to say. <clears throat> you're just gonna look bad. You know, you don't want to look bad. <clears throat> um, and it seems like this, these two, these two new songs could probably be released as traditional singles. So I think that Utah Ricardo should be doing that or getting that in order as well. And I'm interested to hear these new songs um, and hear what they're about. <clears throat> and um you know, give them a listen to and see what they're about. Because for me, I think this is a perfect time for me to kind of, um, you know, go and, you know, find out more about Utada and kind of follow her. Because just 
when I kind of started talking about Utada on videos, um, she was on her her <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, her hiatus already. So it was kind of like she, I knew of her, but I didn't really know of anything recent of her. So now I get to hear some more or hear some recent stuff from her and see what you know she's about now. You know, <clears throat> but I think I'm going on for long enough. So long story short, Lutata's coming back in April with two new songs for Lutata Tots out there. And, you know, she has a website that's um, for charity. And every time you tweet a specific hashtag, um, she'll, like, put a cherry blossom on the tree and uh, make some type of a donation or whatever. So there you go. Um, feel free to comment, subscribe, thumbs up. It's always appreciated. So, thanks a lot for watching. Adios and goodbye for now.